Get to Kawhi Leonard in a second, but first, Baker Mayfield hits Rashard Higgins with a nice pass of practice. Both feet in. Oh, I got to touch base with my man, Rashard right. Higgins. He He's up for a big role in that offense, Nick. Can he be the third or fourth wide receiver behind Jarvis, behind OBJ? Man, their tight end's going to be nice. Uh, Two backs out of the backfield. A lot of, lot of weaponry. That's why Baker, a little 12 to 1 in. Eat that, Colin Cooper. Cowherd. We're throwing touchdowns this offseason, <laughs> buddy. Well, we got 12 30. Yeah. Nationals, Braves, Trey Turner makes a superb diving stop up the middle. I know you missed the picture there, Nick. I know you missed him falling off the mound wrong. Bad fundamentals, almost got hit in his head. Oh, I'm not even looking at the picture. Look at that. Shortstop, yeah, nice. I'm watching the important part of the play. I'm more worried about the pitcher's fundamentals. The only sort of Second the baseman took a false step. So. This is the pitcher. Watch this pitcher. Uh. The photographer almost gets hit. First pitch at a Royals-White Sox game. This, this poor young lady, she's employee of the month, I've been told. She gets to throw out a first pitch. It's a rain out game. There's 35 people in attendance. Look at the crowd. No one's there. I mean, they're all empty seats. And then she just nails the photographer right in the camera. Sarah, Cubs, White Sox. Come White on, you're Sox. from Chicago. I'm from the South Side. Okay, Sox, all right. Well, excuse me. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. West oh, Side, they, South they, Side, Side. Do you think, Northeast. what I want to know, do you think she's embarrassed by this or do you think she loves the attention? A little getting? viral fame? I don't know. I don't know if you want viral fame for that. All right, time now for Take Your Pick. Steph Curry said the Warriors have to make it tough on Kawhi. Strong words from Curry, who is the favorite to win finals MVP. So which player needs a bigger game one for the team to win, Curry or Kawhi? Nick, take your pick. I'm going to say Steph Curry. I think that with Durant out going up against a dominant Raptors defense, the best defense not only this far in these playoffs, but I believe the best defense the Warriors have played in not only the NBA Finals, but in any series over the last five years. Steph's going to have to be special against very difficult defensive matchups for the Warriors to score enough to win. So I say Steph Curry. Uh, Kustak, you told me in your travels to Toronto what a special environment it is. It's more like a college atmosphere. I believe Kawhi Leonard igniting that corral. They, they can't lose home court in that first game. So for me, their superstars got to be a superstar in game number one. Steph can recover from a bad game. I don't think Toronto, I know Kawhi can, but I don't think Toronto and the inexperience that they have, these guys can recover. Kawhi Leonard gets it done in game number one. All right, with Kevin Durant out game one, the Warriors will rely heavily on Klay Thompson and company to pull the weight for the offense. A tall order against a Raptors defense that held Golden State to 93 points last meeting. So who has the edge in game one, the Warriors offense or the Raptors defense? Nick, take your pick. I, look, I'm going to go here with the Raptors defense purely because of what we saw them do in the last round and they I think while they have less rest than Golden State they had to play their very best up you know a few days ago to get past Milwaukee I wonder if the Warriors are going to deal with a little bit of what we saw the Cavs deal with mm -hmm. over the past few years which is the road to the finals they didn't have to play their best. They didn't have to fully engage for 48 minutes. And then game one of the finals, it, the intensity kind of hits them, especially with the long layoff. So for game one, I think the Raptors defense has the edge. I'm going to go with the Warriors offense. I believe that their movement with the ball. And also, let's count how many times the Warriors get either a backdoor layup or someone misses their assignment and they get an easy bucket. We saw that in the first three rounds when they start moving that basketball. That's what makes the Warriors offense so special and there's nothing you can do Kustak when they catch fire like you can be right in them you can be contesting them you can be into them and they can still make shots so I'm gonna go Warriors offense all right Kawhi Leonard his focus of course will be on the Warriors but once the finals are over rumors are that the claw could be done in Toronto with the Clippers and Knicks as front runners to land them so which is the better destination for Kawhi the Clippers or the Knicks CC take your pick where he's playing at in Toronto, it would look a lot like the same team if he went to the Clippers, because he would be surrounded by a bunch of role players and everything. But if he goes to New York City, comes here so we can see him, he's playing with KD. I'm going to say New York City for the pure fact of they're a championship contender instantly. And I did hear a rumor that if KD knew that Kawhi was coming to New York, he would be in instantly on that. So I'm going to go New York City. Here's the reason I think it's the Clippers. If Kawhi wants to play with another superstar and be able to win championships immediately, he can do it in Los Angeles with a player better than Kevin Durant and LeBron James. 
So why would it's Clippers versus Knicks? I think the Clippers can give him, to C's point, a facsimile for what he has in Toronto, where he is the unquestioned guy, great leadership from ownership to GM to head coach, similar to what they have in Toronto, and none of the noise. A lot of noise going to be surrounding the New York Knicks next year with Kevin Durant. So if he was thinking about the Knicks, the Lakers are a better option than the Knicks, but the Clippers, I think, are the best option of all of them, given who the player is and what the player has proven he can do without another superstar next to him. So I say the Clippers. Okay. Another player on the move this offseason will most likely be Kyrie Irving. Reports are that Kobe Bryant is recruiting him to the Lakers, but the Nets are still favorites to land him. So which is the better destination for Kyrie, the Lakers, or the Nets? Don't let me sitting here. Oh, yeah. Nick, sway your pick. <laughs> well, with respect to the wonderful broadcast crew the Brooklyn Thanks. Nets have. Good work. I this, I feel similarly about how Ka Kawhi's in a spot in Toronto, very similar to the one with the Clippers. And he's happy in Toronto, right? Kyrie would be putting himself in a very similar position that he was unhappy in in Boston by going to Brooklyn. Be the man on a young team up and coming where you've got to be the focal point. We know it works with LeBron. We know that combination can go head to head with the Splash Brothers and win a championship. So I say the Lakers. Now we'll see if the people around Kawhi who want him in the Northeast can sway him. But from a basketball perspective, to me, the obvious answer is the Lakers. And the basketball fit in Brooklyn's not the best. They don't have a bunch of one-on-one -on -one players. They move the ball around. They're going to shoot the three. They're going to get up and down the court. And they're going to defend you and defend you hard. They got enough guards. They need to build trade for Anthony Davis. I love the announcing team. Man, I got, man, I, yeah. I love their in-game entertainment. Love. It's second to none. Yeah, I'm all for it. But the best fit's with LeBron. Let LeBron be the big brother. Let LeBron be the leader. Then you can come along. That's when you are at your best. So Lakers for Kyrie. All right. But All I right. can give you some pointers on that other stuff. Though. <laughs> Coming up. Could Boogie Cousins be a major factor in the finals? That's next on First Things First. Cece, you're, you're a, the Brooklyn Nets. Oh. Love having.